Hi, First Church. Thank you for giving me a few minutes to share with you about our Grace for Generations campaign. I hope that this presentation will give you the information that you need in order to feel informed and excited about our campaign to prepare our sanctuary for the next century of ministry. I also hope to hear from you with any questions that you may have so that we can improve our communication with the congregation in the days ahead. As you know, we are at a critical moment in our ministry. For 183 years, First Church has served as a spiritual anchor for the city that has grown up around it. And for a hundred of those years, people have found a spiritual home at the intersection of 12th Street and Lavaca Street, from governors to, and senators to the neighbors who sometimes make their bed on our doorstep. Our physical presence here is a witness to God's presence in downtown Austin. We embody the truth that God makes God's home right in the middle of our lives, right alongside the halls of power and among those whose home is on the street. This is a church where generations of people have come to find God's grace present and active and alive. Even now, as we continue to make our way out of a pandemic and through denominational turmoil, we have clarity about our identity and our mission that draws more and more people to get swept up in the movement of God's grace that is happening at First Church. This place truly is special. And while we as a church are not the sum of our buildings, still our facilities are an essential tool for the ministry that we do. This is where we gather to learn and grow in the love of God and participate in the transformative work that God is doing. Our building needs help. It needs restoration. Our architects have confirmed that the outer shell of the building, the roof, the stonework, the stained glass windows, must be restored or replaced in order to keep the building operational. In the meantime, we have an opportunity to renovate the interior of the sanctuary as well. Over the 95 years that we have worshipped in that room, our congregation has managed to update and renovate the sanctuary periodically to better meet the needs of our worshipping community without completely altering the character of the space. It's time to do that again. We don't want a whole new sanctuary. We simply want our sanctuary to facilitate rather than impede our worship. We want to make updates to the chancel area that would allow more space and flexibility for worship leaders and make that area physically accessible to those who simply cannot climb a really awkward set of stairs. We desperately need to update the technology so that sound and lighting and media and hearing accessibility are all enhancing the worship experience rather than limiting what we can do or distracting us from the movement of the Holy Spirit. Now, the sanctuary building is not the only part of our campus with work to do. And the truth is, this is probably step one of what will be a two or three step effort to bring our whole campus into a new century of ministry. But we have to focus here first and strengthen our deepest roots in that sanctuary building. This is the purpose of the capital campaign this spring called Grace for Generations. We look back with gratitude at the generations before us a hundred years ago and recognize what a leap of faith they took in relocating next to the state capitol and building a facility that would stand as a landmark location and witness to God's grace. And we look forward to the generations yet to come, our grandchildren and great-grandchildren, and with hope and anticipation, we prepare a place for them as an act of love and a sign of God's grace. This campaign depends on every household in this church taking seriously the call to reflect on God's blessings in our lives and prayerfully considering how we might invest in the future of our ministry. Every commitment, regardless of size, is essential for our success, and we will give thanks for each and every one. Here's what you can expect in the weeks to come as we begin our Grace for Generations campaign. First, a campaign brochure 
with uh, more specific information will be sent to every household in the church at the end of March. Our campaign prayer team will then be connecting with the congregation right after Easter to provide opportunities for prayer. We will also provide several opportunities for folks to consider making advanced commitments before Commitment Sunday in order to build momentum early in our campaign. And a sermon series is planned with the kickoff beginning on April the 23rd. I want to emphasize that this is an opportunity for us to engage with God about our part in the future of first. It's a time for each of us to ask, God, what do you want to do through me? And for all of us as a church together to ask, God, what do you want to do through us? I hope that you'll pray for First Church, for our leadership in the weeks ahead as we step into this transformational work for FUMC.